Welcome everybody. Let's get started with Git and GitHub and Android Studio. So you'll see here I've, in the background I have my GitHub profile opened up. We'll get into that in just a second and what Git is. So if you don't know what Git is or what GitHub is, I'll show you pretty quickly. Um, let's open up Android Studio and I'm going to create a new project. We'll call this GitHub tutorial. Enter, enter, and we'll go ahead and do the basic activity. And this includes the floating action button. So let's go ahead and do that. Enter, enter, and that'll just go ahead and create the project for us. So it opens it up, it gets everything set up. And I'm going to show you what I usually do. The first thing I do in all of my projects um, is this. So actually, let me do something. Let me make the font a little bit bigger so you can actually see the font. Editor, colors and codes, general, the font. Let's make this 22. So just a little bit bigger so you can see it on the screen recording, that's all. So let's go ahead and what do we do? Um, so what I do is I go down to the bottom where it says terminal and I have git installed, so I do git init. That'll initiate a git repository. And what does this do? Give me about 60 seconds and you'll find out. So git add dot, that'll add everything. Git status, that'll show you what's all the files. So you might recognize some of these files like the uh, like um, mainactivity.java, activity main.xml, you have some launcher icons and stuff. Let's do git commit dash m initial commit. Um, git log. So if you're confused by all of this, let me show you what this does. So let me go back to Chrome and I'm going to go up to the top and I'm, I have GitHub opened up, just GitHub, and you can sign up for a free account. If you want this to be private, then you're going to have to pay. Let's go to new repository and we'll name this one GitHub Tutorial and I'll make it public so you can actually go to it. I'm going to do create repository and I'll go to this URL and this will actually work because I'm going to keep this up as a public repository. So it, it, it tells you like get init that we already did. We did, get, we did get add, get commit, we already did that. Let's copy this line right here and I'm going to go ahead and copy that. I'm going to go into Android Studio. Oh, and I can get this where I can actually add root there and I'm not sure why it's giving me it. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that line in there and I'm going to do get push dash u origin master. So I'm going to go ahead and just do all of that. And now let's go back to Chrome and I'm going to reload. So look at this page. This page is basically how to get set up with Git. So once I refresh it, look, here's all the files. So if you want to go into your app folder and you can do the source folder and the main folder, the GitHub tutorial, you can see main activity and you can actually browse your code here. So this is all that Git is. It's really just a place for managing all of your code and GitHub is it, so Git is free. You have to set that up on your Mac or Windows or Linux computer or whatever. Um, and it's fairly easy to set up and if need be, I can probably create another video. You just have to set up your first name, your like last name, your email address and your time. So simple stuff. It's pretty easy. It should be pretty easy to get set up, but this allows you to browse your code. So if I want to go back to code, I can see one commit and you see initial commit there. So two minutes ago I made an initial commit. That's what I titled, that's what I named it. Let me go back to Android Studio and if you see if at the uh, top, so I so basically get message, what is the get message? Initial commit. Well let's go ahead and do something. Let's go ahead and values, let's go into colors and let's change some of these colors. So I'm going to change a color that I really like is CE, uh, not that. And also, so I'm going to go ahead and change the color. And there's actually a color picker here, so I'm going to make this one a little bit darker because that's what Android Studio usually does. And I like to make this 0000, which is going to be black. So save it, reformat it, save it. Now let's go back to the terminal. So at the bottom under terminal, let's do git status. Now it's telling us, hey, a file was modified. What file? An app source main resource colors.xml. So colors.xml changed. And if you look at the colors, yeah, sure enough, you know, this is the same file. I just made those changes. So what we can do is get diff. And this will show you the actual changes. And I can I can see see the red is what went away and the green is what went there, what what's new. So old code and new code. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit Q to get out of that. I'm gonna do git add dot get status. And it says, yeah, that one is modified, and now it's added and it's it's ready to be added to the commit. So I'm gonna do git commit uh, git commit dash m change colors get push and wait a couple of seconds and sh what happens well let's go back to here I'm gonna reload the page and look now we have a second commit so this one is three minutes ago and if I click on that I can view the code or look at this I can go to change colors I can see exactly what had changed so look at this so primary color you know color dark accent and you see yeah, here are the new numbers so those are the new that's exactly what changed so you're going to use Git and GitHub for pretty much all of your projects. And you're probably wondering if you can make these private. Absolutely, yes, you can make these private. 
I think you just go into settings, go to the bottom, make private. So, but I think you do have to pay for that. It's like $7 a month, which if you're doing code, isn't very much, um, at least for the value that you get out of Git, Git and GitHub. Git is free that you can install on your computer. GitHub is something that you pay for. Or if you want your, your repositories to be public, I think it's free for that. And there's other pricing going on. So that's basically, uh, that's basically Git and GitHub. So let's go ahead and let's just create an example app just for fun. So I'm gonna get, so just to just for this tutorial, I'm gonna do, I think I have an idea of what I wanna do. I'm gonna get rid of all of that. Um, uh, I'm gonna make a little app. So um, let's see, let's, where to begin? Let's, uh, we're not gonna use internet. So let's, uh, I know what the first thing we can do. So let's go ahead and set up our emulator. Our, not, I'll just run an emulator. So I'm gonna use, I did control R on my keyboard and I set up, I have a couple of, vir I have some, I have a Pixel XL and I have an X5 or 5X. But for the video, I don't really want to use my camcorder. And so I'm just going to use an emulator. So I'll just select an emulator that I have and I'll go ahead and click OK. And I have a fairly fast machine. I got the new Mac that was released like November and December 2016 with the touch bar. And it's opening up on another monitor. I'm going to push it over there. This should take a couple of, yeah, so here it is. So this should take a couple of seconds to load. And Android, 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 and this should take just a couple more seconds, and it should open up the app. Everything should be fine. Okay, cool. So now let's. Uh, oh, I know what the first thing we need to do is we need. So we're going to use Recycler View. So let's go. Uh, so Android Recycler View. Uh, I think this one right here. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom, and we need to need these dependencies. So I'm going to copy both of those lines. Go back to Android Studio. Now I'm in the Android view there. I'm gonna to go to Gradle script and I'm gonna close the terminal at the bottom. I'm gonna go into the module app. I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna paste it inside of my dependencies. Now notice there's one for the project and there's one for the model. It's the module, it's the one for the module that you want. So they're giving me some errors, 25, 21, what's going on? Basically I have compile SD version to 25 um, and I need to change this 21 to 25. And I need to change this to 20, uh, not that. And this should give me another error, so I can see 25.3.1 is the latest. 3.1, that goes away. 3.1, um, there we go. So I'm going to save it. Now, this doesn't do anything until you hit Sync Now. So Sync Now, and that'll pull in those dependencies. And I'm on Google Fiber, which is fairly fast, and it'll download those in a second. Or I don't know how it works. It just, just I just know that it does work. So I'm going to shift click on the app, and that'll close it. Shift click on it, and tab will close it. And I'm, I'm going to cl shift click on colors because we don't need that anymore. So what I'm going to do, you know what, let's just for fun, let's go ahead and make another commit. So let's do get status. And you can see, hey, these files change. So the build.gradle changed and the main activity changed. So I can do get diff. And here's what changed in those files. So the first file is uh, the dependencies that I added. And then you see I got rid of the red text means I got rid of something. So I got rid of that. I got rid of a bunch of code, and that's exactly what I did. So let's do git add .git status. It says here the files of the build.gradle file that we added our dependencies to, and the main activity.java both got changed. They're both ready. So git commit dash m. We'll name this one add add dependencies. And we'll git push. And if you go back to Chrome, you go back to GitHub, and I I'll make sure. Yeah, so it worked. So I'm gonna refresh the page, and you can see just now add dependencies. So if I go over to commits, now you'll see three commits. So I have my initial commit there, I have change colors, and I have add dependencies. So this video is might be a little bit long. We're already at nine minutes. Uh, goodness, let me see how fast I can go. Maybe another 10 more minutes and we can be done with this. So I wanna do, I wanna create a recycler view. So let's go back to content main, and this is great, but it's not exactly what I had in mind. I want to change this to a recycler view. Uh, actually, that's not, let's do this. Let's do, I want to change it to recycler view, get rid of the text because we don't need it, format the code, um, give it an ID. So this should be standard stuff that I've covered in the past. So I'm going to go ahead and run this actually and just see what happens. I like to run it very often because if, uh, if there's some error or something, 
it's easier to catch it. Like if you're if you're testing it every two or five five or ten minutes, you're or I probably test stuff. Well, what's my average? Maybe a few minutes. Maybe I'll make some small changes and always test it because it's easier to go back and say, hey, okay, you know, it's easier to go back three minutes than it is to go back, you know, an hour ago. And this is where our Git can really help because then if Git, you can actually say, oh, I want to go back to change colors. Like say um, the dependencies were added. I I don't actually need recycler view. I'm going to use something else. Um, so it, Git makes that really pop. Okay, let's go ahead and open up Git. Let's, let's do something. Let's do. Uh, I'll name this user class, and I want to go ahead and um, private string. So what I'm going to make is a little app that's kind of like contacts, where you can scroll through contacts. So private string, last name, uh, private string, email. Actually, we'll do this. M So this is a strong convention. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do option, uh, control, enter, enter. I'm gonna select all these and it generates a bunch of code for us. So this is what you might, this might, you might be, this might just be described to you as a POJO or a plain old Java object. So an object is something that comes after class, public class. So in this case, the, the object is a user, has a first name, last name, and an email address. And so this, this, all this code you see here is a POJO. It's a plain old ob, Java object. So I'm gonna do Control Enter again. I'm gonna do Getters, and I'm gonna select all these. I do Shift, then the down arrow, and that just selects all of these. So I just select them. And now you see we have Getters and Setters for them. And I'll explain all this in just a sec. Actually, 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 I'll go ahead and do that now. So let's do. Um, so to use this class, I just created. I just there's a new file there. It's called User. It's grayed out. It's not being used yet. So um, uh, what can we do? Um, let me think. So oh, and also see how it gets rid of the M. Like the up here, it's like M first name. I get rid of that M in Android Studio. There's a setting for that. I don't have time to go over that right now. I forget exactly where it is, but um, that that's something that can be figured out, or hopefully you can figure it out. Or if not, I'll, you can just leave a comment and I'll try to help you out. So let's do user. And it recognizes it there. We'll do Daniel equals new user. And it'll ask me for, oh, so first name. So Daniel Malone. So this should be valid. So if I run this, nothing should change. It's not going to, there's there's nothing to see here. But this will compile down. So that's the important thing. So we, oh, we can actually do this. So do log D, just type log D, enter, enter. And at the top, we can do log t. That says for logging, enter, enter. So this tag right there will go up to here and say, oh, call it main activity. And we'll do plus, we'll do um, daniel.get email. So we'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to run it. I'm going to open up Android Monitor at the bottom and go back to your emulator. And this should open up, and it sure does. And we should see Daniel. Yeah, so here it is. So on create. Uh, Daniel at finepointmobile.com. So this POJO is working. This plain old Java object is working. It's basically saying, hey, um, user, user, we can name it anything. We can name it ASDF or whatever. We, those have to be the same, but we can use, uh, that can be anything. And so new user, and we're just basically, if I command click on there, it'll take me directly to the class. So it's saying, hey, get me a name, get me a last name, and get me an email. And it's setting this all up for us. So this video is getting kind of long. Actually, let's go ahead and do a little bit more in this video. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. We don't need that. And let's set up our recycler view. So we'll do um, recycler view and recycler view adapt uh, dot adapter. Uh, so this is good. And let's go ahead and do, let's do m recycler view equals find r.ad.recycler view. Put my mouse over it, option enter, enter, and that casts it. So what, what this line does right here, oh, let's go ahead and make a commit. So let's do, just to show you something, just just for good practice, just to show you how to do git commits. So git add dot git status git commit dash m. What do we do? We, uh, what did we do? Uh, so that's, that's the main thing we did. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it with that, git push. And now I'm going to go back to GitHub. Let's make sure so that works. So I'll go back to GitHub, refresh the page, and now we have setup user. So we have initial commit, change color, add dependencies, and setup user. So this video is getting kind of long. So I'm going to finish it up on the on the next video. 
but I wonder if there's an example here. Yeah, so what we're gonna look at is basically a list, uh, yeah, a list of data kind of like that, which is what, what is what I'm trying to make. So it'll be a list of contacts. We'll use Recycler View, we'll use our custom user object, we'll our model or POJO, and we'll use Recycler View. I already mentioned that, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video now and I'll finish it up. But in the meantime, if you do wanna check out my, you can go to this URL here. So it's github.com slash Daniel Malone slash, and then you can see all my Git repositories that are, that are public. Or you can just type out GitHub tutorial there and you can actually see this and work along with me. And if you wanna go back, you can click on a commit and say, hey, I wanna to go to setup user. And you can see exactly what changed here. So yeah, you can see the green lines, how the green lines are something that actually changed. So that's something that I added. And like down here, like everything's everything's new for this file here. And what did I do here? Uh, so I, yeah, I changed it from a text view there. I changed it into a recycler view. So that's a quick little deep dive into Git and GitHub. I'll finish this up in another video. So uh, it'll, it'll be posted to YouTube, so just stay tuned for that. And I might go ahead and post this one and we'll just see. Anyway, so this is a little intro to Git, GitHub. Android Studio. Hopefully you learned something. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll, if I have the time, I'll try to get to it. Thanks.